In this video, I will demonstrate the various ways in which you can create a rigid body element using Siemens FEMA. A rigid body element, or RB2 for short, is an element that is used to create rigid connections. This is usually done to model fasteners or pins that connect parts together in your film. To create a simple RB2, first click on Model, Element. Make certain that the type is set to rigid. We will change the color just for appearance. And then we'll select our dependent nodes. Make certain that you have the RB2 tab selected. Selecting nodes, we will change the method to on curve since the nodes surrounding the hole are on these curves. Highlight just to make sure that the nodes are where we need them to be. Click OK. And since we do not have a node at the center of this hole, we will ask FEMAP to create a new node at its center. Click OK, and we've created an RBE2 at the node center. The same task can be achieved with an already existing center node. Once again, we will select the method to be on curve, select the nodes on this surface, click OK. And now with the nodes selected, we click OK and create an RBE2 the same way manually. The same method can also be applied to creating RBs with solid elements. Here we have a female lug, which will create two spider RBEs. Again, we select model element. Make sure that the type is set to rigid. Click OK. And now we can select our nodes. In the first method, manually, we will select by them being on surface. We select the two inner surfaces of the left side lug. And since we do have a node at the center, we can select that node to be our independent node, click OK, and we've created a spider RBE. The same thing can be done in custom tools using the API functionality under meshing spider surfaces. Provided you have geometry, here, all we need to do are select the two surfaces associated to the right side lug. All nodes that are associated to these two highlighted surfaces will be included in the spider RB. This will automatically create a node at the center, so you do not need to define one. This concludes the demonstration on how to create an RB2 using Siemens FEMA. Thank you for watching our tips and tricks tutorial series, and don't forget to check out our other support videos here on our YouTube channel, and tune in to our customer enablement series held on the first and third Thursdays of each month if you'd like to get more helpful information. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.